Are these happy or unhappy people? They are unhappy. People who are resisting or fighting change are unhappy. Now, when you're unhappy, how do you want everybody else around you to be? Just as miserable. Life, life stinks for me, so it's going to stink for you too. That's right. They are very unhappy. And what is their ultimate goal? When somebody is resisting change, what is their ultimate goal? Yeah, oh, Lorraine. Oh, I'm sorry. oh, that is my favorite word, but it's sabotage. sabotage. <laughs> you know, it really makes you feel good to say, on uh, uh, three, everybody, let's try it. One, two, three. Sabotage. sabotage. So that goes with the French line. That's <laughs> there you go. Uh, come on, George, one time with me. One, two, three. Oh, he says it with an undertone. Oh, yeah, people are like resisting. <laughs> people are resisting. Their ultimate objective is is to stop or prevent the change. They want it to go back to the way it was. So they attempt to sabotage. sabotage. Now we talked about them unha being unhappy. Now they soon find that all of their lonesomes, they're not being very effective. Now, since they are unhappy and they want others to be unhappy with them, what do they do? Group hug. <laughs> now that's a prison. <laughs> that's a prison. <laughs> <cell block. laughs> no, there, there's, there's too much Shawshank Redemption going on in this corner of the room. That would be a wall. In a sense, they do want a group hug because they realize by themselves they are not being effective in sabotaging, right? So what they do is they try to recruit others, don't they? That's right. you know, they are actively recruiting because then they want to establish or complete a coup d'etat. Yeah. All right, there you go. Man, it's coup so, so, what's that? It's coup d'etat. Coup d'etat? Well, like a sabotage. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, so they, they, do, they do try to recruit or organize. You see that behavior a lot, an organizing type of behavior. Let's all get together and sabotage or, or try to prevent the change. What else do people who resist change do or say? Think about their behavior, say, in meetings. How do these people behave in meetings? They might not say anything. Yes, Lloyd. There's a lot of people. You see this a lot. People that before were rather active in meetings. Right there. See what Ben's doing? Right here. Classic. They sulk. They, 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 what's that? Right over here? No, 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 no point. No point. No point. No point. Now, some, some people will, will withdraw in meetings. What will other resistors do in meetings? Get in your face. Tell you about how bad it is. What's that? Tell you about how bad the change no, will be. To get you they'll try to get you. Oh, they'll try to sidetrack meetings, or they'll get very aggressive. They will attack. Mm -hmm. So you see both of those behaviors. What else do they do? Think about common work things. Think about uh, think about email, for example. What are their emails like? Oh, email campaign. Uh, that's like email campaign. What else? Lorraine, why did you leave the last job? <laughs> Bill? She didn't like you. <laughs> no. What else do they do? Okay, I got your number. What else? Oh no, it's a story. Are you just posing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I should change tables. <laughs> Come on over here, boy. Yeah. Seems safer next to, next, next to Bob. <laughs> Any other thoughts about what these people do?